Hi, everyone. Welcome back. And hello to everyone who's seeing me for the first time. Well, we do have something to celebrate. Um, Biden has gotten his transfer of power officially, even though I know he's been getting it since way before that. Uh, now it's official finally today. So I thought that would be something to celebrate. And I'm hoping now everyone can get together and have peace and we can start coming back together no matter who we voted for and just begin to have unity. And the way we can do that is forgiveness. And years ago, probably in the 90s, I wrote a um, meditation for forgiveness um, to lighten up your own self, because when you forgive other people, you're actually helping yourself heal, you're lightening up your energy because you're letting go of all that anger or whatever's pent up inside of you. If you let go of that, you will have much more success in your own life and it helps you move on because you can forgive and forget. That's why they say forgive and forget. So you can forgive them you can forgive yourself so in order to create some unity and lighten up for ourselves and heal a little bit i thought i'd read my forgiveness meditation to you and hopefully you might want to use it also um it's a meditation that i created a long time ago and in the 90s and I thought that if you did this meditation, we might help heal the earth and heal all its inhabitants from all we've been through and um, just forgiving each other, forgiving people, friends, anyone who we were disagreeing about the elections and a lot of people had um, problems within their own families and um, close friendships everybody, a lot of people have been separated. So I thought this would be a good time to do a forgiveness meditation. And I did this, I made a newsletter every month. Years ago, I created a newsletter um, back in the day. And I put a newsletter out every single month. We didn't have internet. There was Everything had to be done by handed out or email. So I did a newsletter and I would write um, some kind of a meditation or something to help people, some exercise to help people and put it in the newsletter. And, um, you know, I would put incense recipes in there and different things like that. So I was talking the other day to someone and then I decided yes, it's time to do the forgiveness meditation now. We all need it now that we are finally able to move forward and a decision has been made. So if you have anybody you wish to forgive, um, forgiving helps heal you, helps lighten up the energy. So if you have anybody you wish and need to forgive, uh, it'll help forgive you, it'll help heal you, it'll lighten up your energy. So I'll read it to you now. And if you resonate with this, you can do the meditation along with me and you can do it for as many people as you wish down the road. So I'm just going to read exactly how I wrote it in the newsletter for you. Okay, so here it goes. Forgiveness. Many of us are holding on to unwanted and unneeded hurt, anger, and fear. Some of us unconsciously and some of us consciously, and many of us both. This is for those of you who feel this is true for you and want to release this. I wanted to share with you the information I've learned along the way in the hopes of helping you to heal yourself and our earth. I believe when we hold on to negative emotion, it creates negative thought patterns in our consciousness and unconscious mind. This also creates negative thought forms, which are really getting out there in the ethers as live entities weighing down the earth. 
Sometimes we are able to work these out in the dream state until they dissipate. However, many times we still have that one thought which weighs us down that we just cannot seem to release. Maybe an old hurt or fear. Sometimes we even need to forgive ourselves. I thought I'd share with you this exercise I use to release them. Okay, so ready? Try to sit in the silence or maybe put on some nice comforting music. Call in your guides as you would call in if you are about to pray. Then visualize or fill yourself in a glowing light, whatever color is comforting to you. I use white or golden light. If you can't see it, just imagine it or feel it and have that light expand all around you like a bubble. You may begin to feel lighter. So I'll do that with you right now and I'll call in our guides and then I'll continue reading and I'll do a little protection for you. So dear God, Jesus, Archangel Zoriel, Mikael, Raphael, Gabriel, all our spirit guides and teachers and all those of the light and Christ consciousness who wish to join us in this meditation, please will you come in. So now our guides are here. So taking a, a deep breath in, pulling it in from the top of your head, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your feet, bringing it back up to parted lips and blow out any unwanted energy, visualizing it as black spots. And taking another deep breath, pulling it in from the top of your head, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your feet, bringing it back up to parted lips and blowing out. And one more final deep breath, pulling it in from the top of your head, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your feet, bringing it back up to parted lips and blow out any residual unwanted energy. Now filling the white light above you, below you, in front of you and behind you, totally protecting you and just visualizing it go around you through the building and as far as you can imagine and you're totally protected in the white light. Okay, so I will continue breathing now that we're all protected. When you feel very comfortable and relaxed and safe, this should be your intention to create this feeling. So just let it be a knowing that you are protected. Now ask God or your guides to send you for the highest good, one at a time, any thoughts which are weighing you down. Take the thought, acknowledge it and send it love. This helps transform it to the positive. So for an example, thought, I acknowledge the fact that you are here. I do not need or want you anymore. Ask for help from your guides if you need it. Then let it dissipate. Tell it verbally to go if you wish. Remember there is power in the spoken word. Imagine it floating into the light, transforming it to love or whatever is best and easiest for you. Do this with as many unwanted feelings and thoughts as you wish and you can handle for this meditation. If you only do one at a time, that is great, that's a start. If you make a habit of this process in your daily meditation, you will easily release any unwanted thoughts or energy you pick up along the way in your daily lives. Hopefully you will feel much lighter and joyful through this practice. And I'd like to share with you that I'm using this technique myself and it really works. Let us heal and be whole. So I hope that helps a little bit. So um, in closing, I'll say, so let's say you have a name of the person. So you can say the name of the person name, and then you can say, I acknowledge that you're here and I understand that you're here. I forgive you, send it love. Send the person love. 
You may even want to cut the cords. You can ask Archangel Mikael for his sword. And you can cut the cords if you need to. If it's someone that you cannot be with any longer, you can cut the cords. And if you have to let them go totally and it's someone you're having a hard time releasing, even though you won't see them again or you can't see them again, and you just take the sword from Archangel Mikael and you slice it right down. And we've, we've talked about this in other videos and you can just feel like you're blowing that person away and then you can seal off your chakras, seal off their chakras, and you won't cord back up to them. My guides had told me to connect to the to God and all that is, and then you'll be corded to yourself. And then you can also do this with the thought forms. You just forgive them, keep, send them love, send them healing, just give them light and give yourself light and then just see their energy dissipate in love and light. And you can do that with as many people that you need to forgive. And if it's for yourself, you can do it for yourself and give yourself a hug and hopefully that helps. So if you wanna do a reading from my angel messenger cards, I'm gonna pick two cards for you. This is a really old book, so it's kind of hard to see. And the book is by, and I will put it in the description too. I'm not even sure if it's in print anymore. It is uh, Meredith Young Sowers and photography by Carol Duke. And this is the actual book. So it's kind of old. I don't know if it's still in print. A lot of my things are really old being I've had them for 30 or maybe even some 40 years because I am going to be 63 and soon I'll be 64. Okay, here you go. My angelic messenger cards, which are cards from flowers and they give you the flower essence meaning so I'm just going to pick two because they're a little lengthy and I want you to at least have two to what two different ones to pick from. So here they are. So one and two. One and two. So this is one and two. Okay. So if you picked one, that would be courage. So you can see the flower there. And I'm going to read to you um, from the book what it actually is associated with. So I'm just going to give you the application because it's a little lengthy and then We'll do the next one. So I'll hold this up. When you feel yourself on the threshold of change or choice and you are unsure what to do, try praying. Dear guardian angel, please allow me to benefit from this change and to know the course of action I should take. Allow my guidance to be shown to me in such direct and obvious ways that I can be present and at peace, knowing I won't overlook or fail to see the guideposts. Let my intention for service and right choice be heard clearly and let me trust that what comes to me will benefit my life appropriately. So that's a really good card and will help you with courage. So if you chose card number two, that's inner authority. There's the picture for it. And it's card number 14. So I'm going to look up the application for that card. 
So the application for this card is write down what your inner authority spiritual voice sounds like to you. Observe the people and circumstances in which you already use your inner authority. How does it feel when you use this more aligned inner energy? Why don't you use it with certain others? What do you need in order to use this inner authority voice more often? Ask those you live with or your closest family members or friends to discuss this idea of inner authority voice. Ask each person to share with you information about the times and the ways they are unable to use their own inner authority voice. Ask each person how each can help the other call forth their own inner voice more often. Place a small sticker on your daily calendar identifying the days in which you feel you are actively using your inner authority and thereby reinforcing this new alignment. So I would say this is about speaking your truth, your throat chakra and using that to help you. And this card courage comes kind of like the solar plexus spleen area, maybe even the base chakra, getting you up the energy to use your courage. And this is like your throat chakra, heart chakra, using your inner and your, even your third eye using your inner authority to come from a higher spiritual perspective and coming from a higher place using your throat chakra to use your inner authority to speak your truth. So I thought I would share some of that with you and um, okay. I love you guys and Hopefully I can meet you one day in person. I'm used to doing live classes. So doing it like this is very strange for me, but I'm trying my hardest. So if you like this video, please click like, click the bell, and then you'll see some more videos as I make them. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.